Joe, it's so lovely. It's got to be the prettiest engagement ring anybody ever had. Diamonds. A diamond. A diamond. A diamond is forever. It's forever. It's forever. A diamond is forever. Dot com. We can make diamonds, yes. Lab-grown diamonds are the same as earth-mined diamonds. Diamonds were never precious. When you're born in this business, you're going to be in this business. This is exactly what my grandfather told me when I was in my 20s. The rarity of diamonds was a myth. As far as man-made diamond production, um, that technology has actually existed since uh, probably the 1950s or 1960s. But about four or five years ago, we started to see advancements in technology that allowed for production of gem quality diamonds that are man-made and high enough quality to be used in jewelry. We take a slice of a alter-created diamond and it's arranged in a proprietary chamber. You arrange those seeds almost like a waffle and you close the chamber. You raise the temperature inside while pumping a combination of proprietary gases. When the temperature is in the mid 13 to 1500 uh, degrees centigrade, methane splits and the pure carbon that is separated starts bonding. Mm -hmm. This bonded carbon starts connecting with the seed that's sitting at the bottom of the chamber and diamond grows layer by layer. Every other girl has one. cut a diamond with a diamond. Is it better than silicon any day of the week? Well, was it affordable 10 years or 20 years ago? No. These higher tech applications represent a very, very small part of the industry at this point. We still could be decades away, but uh, I think we're gonna see diamond uh, used in, in a lot more of the products that we use on an everyday basis. And let's not forget, we're no longer 
needing to mind. 